been searching and searching for all sorts of animals far and wide but we haven't really been able to find one until now and it is very very camouflaged as you may or may not see but as we go closer and closer you'll realize that that is not a piece of wood it is an animal called a terrapin now for those of you that are not sure what a terrapin is in here in South Africa we get terrapins we get turtles and we get tortoises and you've already seen a tortoise with Byron so they live on land and I'm sure he would have told you now you're seeing a different one which is called a terrapin they live mainly in water though they also come out in land they have claws with webbing between their toes as well so the tortoise doesn't have any webbing between their toes and then a, a turtle for us here in South Africa it lives in the ocean and it has flippers it doesn't have any claws at all so how cool is that now I think it may have been eating something when we arrived but now it is performing the freeze motion and it's a very very basic way for animals to try and conceal themselves when they think that they've been spotted by a predator and I think it knows that we're watching it but it has got all the grasses on its back Now, Cameron, you're wondering what is the best place to find animals. Cameron, it depends, really. It's, um, for instance, for something like a terrapin or for birding, this little marsh system over here is actually really, really good. And you could get impala coming to drink from down here. You might find spiders sitting on top of the water, lots of frogs. So it depends. And then if you want to see zebras or wildebeest or buffalo, you've got to look for areas where there's good grazing. So that, of course, all depends on the types of food that the animals are eating. It's actually quite interesting because if you think about it, you have to start right down below the surface of the grass. You've got to go down to the soils. And certain soils are better than others and promote fertile grasses or plants and from there you'll get different types of grass species that grow in certain types of soil types which will then attract various mammals and reptiles and and birds and things like that and then whatever eats those things will be the predators that will follow as well